What's going on YouTube? This is Wayne with Wayne's Fish World and today we're going to be talking about do air pumps increase or decrease CO2 levels in your aquarium? It is a heavily debated topic. Some people and most people say you should not have an air pump on your aquarium with a plant tank. Some people like to have that just that that fallback option you know that feel good security feeling of always having an air pump on your aquarium it is heavily debated before we talk about that though i want to talk about the 125 then we're going to dive into that this is going to be one of those just random me talking myself off videos but my angelfish are doing absolutely wonderful in this tank i topped the tank off i didn't do a water change i just topped it off after the medication was uh, when I was after I was done with medication, um, but it's a little low. Got to put some more water in the tank. You're gonna have to excuse me on that. All I did was topped it off, and it cleared right up. No water changes. Just topped it off. The system balanced itself back. It's not 100% clear, but it's pretty clear again. Um, the angelfish are doing absolutely wonderful now you guys know i'm thinking about putting a pleco in my 125 now when i say pleco i'm not talking you know massive 18 24 inch pleco i'm talking around six inches or maybe eight inches at max um i do definitely want a a beautiful pleco thank you for all the people that are leaving like suggestions in the comments below I, i'm taking all those plecos in consideration the ones that i don't recognize uh, the name of i will look them up i've looked up every single one that you guys told me um i might not leave a long reply in the comment but i definitely looked it up Thank you guys for that interaction in the comments below. That is what I want to see. I want to see my community engaging with me. It's just as much as, as, much as I engage with you guys. But um, what has really struck me, and it's going to be a species video coming out, um, a how-to care guide video coming out probably sometime this week on electric blue cars. My local fish store got some insanely, I'm talking insanely good looking electric blue cars they're fully grown they're 39 dollars um they're about i don't know four or five inches in length they are huge they're massive and they're beautiful here's the thing my obligation why i did not get them today is i'm a little uncertain do i want to put them in my tank um number of reasons uh, i thought about just getting females that way i couldn't have breeding uh and then I thought about many different things, but I don't know guys, would you like to see some electric blue cars? I'm not talking little tiny electric blue cars, I'm talking electric blue cars the size of that marble angelfish right there in length. You know, actually longer than those angelfish over there, um, five inches probably. But let's get back to the topic of the video guys. Do air pumps decrease or increase CO2 levels in your aquarium? Let's backtrack that. What is an air pump? An air pump is something that has a piston inside them ballot sharks check them out i got a comment and i'm not going i'm not going to like rant you guy uh, rant whoever it was i can't remember your name but you know somebody was giving me a hard time about you know i shouldn't have ballot sharks in my 125 because they need a school of six yes i know they love the school ballot sharks are a schooling fish but you know what i hate to tell you but i'm not putting six ballot sharks in this 125 gallon it's not going to happen if i just have two ballot sharks in this 125 then they'll live just happily fine i had one here before before he got hemorrhaged um he did just fine but you know i might add one more ballot shark max and that is about it but these ballot sharks have really come around you can see them being very active but god i'm getting like adhd again let's get back to the topic of the video air pumps are devices or machines that have a piston inside of them that pumps that pu takes the atmospheres that takes the atmospheric air and pumps it into the aquarium this is not just co2 this is not just oxygen this is whatever gases that are in the atmosphere either it be methane nitrogen co2 whatever it might be that is getting pumped in to the aquarium now a lot of you people are saying well most of the gases are just hitting the surface of the water that's the whole reason of an air pump is to have surface agitation that way you get gas exchange yes but a small percent of that bubble is dissolving into the water column same method of the co2 injected formulas um and with smaller bubbles means faster dissolve rates because the bubbles aren't as big there's not as much to dissolve so i have an air pump i think it's a whisper 60 or something like that on here and you guys can kind of see that little hazy spot right there in the back that is just a whisper 60 
pumping, it's not micron bubbles, you only can get micron bubbles in salt water because of the chemistry of the water, but they are very fine bubbles for uh, fresh water. And I know that it's getting a massive turnaround rate of dissolved gases. Not just oxygen, not just nitrogen, but I'm also getting CO2 dissolved in my aquarium. Now, this is my thing. I am in favor of having a, a air pump on your aquarium, even in a Dutch style aquarium planet tank, because I mean, this tank needs a lot of more planting. It needs to get back on track. But you guys can see, I swear to God, besides my dirt, I swear to God, and I don't swear to God, I actually shouldn't say that because I don't really like doing that. But what I'm trying to say is, I don't fertilize this tank besides this substrate. And I haven't touched that since I refertilized it in the video a couple months ago. But Limnophila armonica is growing absolutely crazy. I've got some uh, clippings that are going out Monday. If you want some of that, let me know. The link will be in the description below. And this is where the whole video is at right here. This is Hygrophila SP Brown India. I have a colony of this stuff growing on my racking system that I don't show YouTube. But this stuff, oh my God, this is a rare plant now, guys. This is a super rare plant. It is beautiful. This is one of my favorite plants. And it is coming back to the peak conditions. This thing is turning that red because the plant is absorbing CO2. That CO2 allows it to absorb iron and other elements, trace elements and nutrients such as iron. And these plants are taking the nutrients in because they're absorbing that CO2 and they're flourishing. Example A, um, some of this limophile I'm not, I'm not dosing iron or anything guys. It's already starting to turn pink here yellows and these yellows will turn into pink and sometimes it'll get orange and a deep red but here's my thing there's no downside of having an air pump on a planet tank that's my belief it's my belief you know the manufacturers can tell you what they want to tell you but obviously the manufacturer is going to tell you what's going to lead to them what's going to lead to you buying their product that's what i got to say about air pump guys leave the description your thoughts and uh comments in the section below if you like the video hit the thumbs up if you're new to the channel definitely hit that subscription button it'll help me out a lot i'll see you guys next week same time same place comment rate and subscribe this is wayne with wayne's fish world keep it fishy guys later